See? First him. This is the most honest way to fight human enemies in this game. Just, just, just cook them. Just cook them. Just, just get it over with. Just cook them. Get over with. They're so obnoxious. Like the human enemies in this game are fucking obnoxious. Just kill them with fire. Just kill them with fire. Okay. Oh, <laughs> they just—they just—they can't help but get a cheat. What? Uh, can I start hitting them yet? So slow. Like, Fury Mode in Dead Island 2 is so much more satisfying. Like, like you have to be very slow. Because, like, yeah. How did he get up? Human enemies in this game are so fucking obnoxious. They can they can even take a hit in fury mode. Yeah, that's that's the that's the touch and go, the hit and miss of dealing with human enemies in this game. Even in fury mode, they still want to get back up. They still want to get those cheap shots in. I think so. Yeah. Walsh wasn't here. And then, I know. Blah blah blah. Da, okay, I'll yeah, just we'll it, it, get get out of my hair. Yeah, like fighting human human enemies in this game. Like, have you ever noticed, like on YouTube, whenever someone does like a like a dying light two video, you notice how they they're so meticulous in how they they edit the raw footage, right? Because yeah. Human enemy versus Aiden combat is so hit and miss, and there's like moments where it's suffocatingly annoying when you're trying to swing your weapon and Aiden doesn't swing because the enemy is in the middle of doing a power attack against him. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. That's the thing. Yep, the best way to handle human enemies in this game is set them on fire, listen to them scream in utter agony while you fill them up with arrows. Be like, oh, well, you just need to use your parkour combat. Yeah, your parkour combat does work kind of well, but if you're on console, you know what I'm talking about. There's these moments, these gray moments of interaction where Aiden doesn't do anything and he gets absolutely pummeled for two or three seconds. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I like to call the butt hump window of combat in this game. That's right. It's called the butt hump window. It's the window where you're trying to get Aiden to do something really cool and Aiden can't do it because he's too busy standing there getting butt humped by some idiot with a hammer who's jacked up on like a power trip attack, right? So, yeah. 
Yeah. So, take it from me. I played this game long enough. Light them on fire. Watch them do their little dance. But yeah, like when you see content creators on YouTube doing like hyper positive content for this game, you notice, pay close attention. Pay close attention. Yeah, you notice that? Like they're just, they got, what was it? Like some cool ass weapon. Yeah. And they're <laughs> slamming and they're mowing down yeah. zombies with their cool ass weapon, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because they don't really want to show you, like, human combat because it doesn't look as pretty. <laughs> human combat in this game is super sloppy. The best thing to do, light them on fire, fill them up with arrow arrows. That's the way to do it. Don't even bother. Don't, don't try those stupid parry, hop over dude, slam them into wall bullshit. Like, if you hop... <laughs> My bad. Yeah, so like, if you hop over an enemy and you jack kick the dude beyond him, like, you're gonna notice, like, it, it does very little. Very little. Right? Unless you you hop over an enemy and drop kick him off a roof. Right? That's the only thing that really does something. Other than that, it does fuck all. Why bother? Just don't even bother. Just don't. Don't do it. It's a trap. But anyway, yeah. There there you go. That's Nettie's That's that's uh that's Nettie's quick guide to dealing with human enemies in a zombie game. You deal with a lot of human enemies in a fucking zombie game when you're playing Dying Light 2. Cook them. Cook them and book them, Decker. That's how you do it. Ugh. 